Welcome to this week's episode of Dr. Ann's Desk, where I said tips and tricks to keep your virtual learning sane, safe, and also fun for all of us involved, because this is going to continue and we're in it for the long haul. So today I wanted to share one of my tips from the classroom, which is called Sound Off. Music is the soundtrack of our lives and we don't use it and tap into it often enough in our educational spaces. And so today's tip and trick is to include sound and music in your classrooms. How can you do this? You can do a song check-in where students uh, name the title of the song for how they feel. I shared that in my one of my previous videos. Be sure to check it out on the channel. Um, you can also incorporate soundtracks in a way that helps you um, get your students to talk about characters that they're reading in a book if you're an ELA teacher, uh, moods when inventors have created their best inventions if you're a science teacher. Um, and so one way you can do this is by asking students to create a soundtrack of three to four songs that demonstrates the mood of a character. That way they're learning the uh, literary element and having to kind of talk through why they chose that music. You can also, again, create a soundtrack for a historical time period. If we're talking about revolution, what would that soundtrack sound like? And the fun thing about compiling music from your students is that you can have a class soundtrack around a topic, person, historical figure, topic, and you can kind of share it with other students and it could be something that you have forever. So I'm here to encourage you to make it fun, make it live, and get your students to incorporate sound and music in your lessons to make it engaging. Again, you want to be careful because there are going to be those students that come with something inappropriate, but I do want to encourage you to allow them to express themselves. So just ask for the clean version. And you can go from there. But using sound and getting students to check in with how they feel, using music to try to be an assessment of a time period or to describe a character and or historical figure and or invention is a great way to change it up in your classroom and to get through things a little bit more seamlessly in this virtual learning environment. Let me know how it works out if you tried this. Please make sure you've subscribed, you're commenting, and you're following, and share it with any or all teacher friends that you may know. Dr. Ann signing off for today. Bye.